Remarkable women are all around us. This month, KX News is celebrating people who have made an impact on their communities and people around them. In tonight's Remarkable Woman, KX News' Samantha Saylor tells us about the life of Dr. Fanny uh, Dunn Quain. Berg's 24-hour towing and crane service, Space and Electric Power Cooperative, and MHA Nation Interpretive Center proudly recognize all local remarkable women. On December 13, 1874, Fanny Dunn Quain was born Fanny Almera Dunn in Bismarck in what was then the Dakota Territory. Her dad was a pharmacist and her mom a dressmaker. Her father opened the first drugstore in North Dakota and was elected mayor of Bismarck in 1884. Fanny graduated from Bismarck High School in 1893 and pursued teaching training in Minnesota, but ultimately graduated from the University of Michigan in 1898. Um, and she became the first female born in this state to become a doctor, um, which is pretty cool uh, that we can list her amongst some of our um, firsts um, that we have in our, our history. Dr. Quain specialized in diseases of the ear and eye. However, tuberculosis soon became her main concern as it was responsible for 10% of illnesses in the state by 1907. She lobbied to create the first tuberculosis sanitarium, and in 1909, she co-founded the North Dakota Tuberculosis Association, which later became the Lung Association of North Dakota. She was very interested in medical work. Um, she did a lot of work with uh, tuberculosis, tuberculosis clinics, and she also helped to establish um, the first baby clinics in North Dakota. So she did a lot of work um, with that medical uh, side of things. She worked to improve the standards of nurse training in the state and was a member of the State Board of National Red Cross, serving as secretary. Dr. Quain was well aware of the challenges female doctors faced in North Dakota and elsewhere and was involved with the Medical Women's Association. She met her husband, Dr. Eric P. Quain, a surgeon, in the operating room of St. Alexius Hospital. They married in 1903 and later moved to Bismarck. Eric P. Quain, who um, along with another doctor, Dr. Ramstead, um, they created the Quain and Ramstead Clinic, which became the QNR Clinic, which is uh, eventually became Med Center, and then today is Sanford. So that hospital is still in existence. Um, and uh, yeah, they, that family really did have an impact on early history here in the city. And also, um, like I said, just kind of across the state. After a long and successful career as a physician and public health advocate, Dr. Fanny Dunn Quain died on February 2, 1950 in Bismarck at the age of 75. Dr. Fanny Dunn Quain will be remembered as a remarkable woman due to her perseverance, compassion, and innovation in the face of adversity. For KX News, I'm Samantha Saylor. Together, her and her husband had two children, a son, Buell, and a daughter, Marion. She was also an active member of the General Federation of Women's Clubs, where she was involved in group, uh, groups engaged with suffrage and women and children's health.